I am Ganesh and we are, we are still, still traveling. traveling. So we have reached our room here in uh, Mayapur. We got a bus from uh, from Cebu even at night. So basically, we had 24-hour buses uh, running from Cebu to uh, Danbante and in Mayapur. Uh, the AC buses run every hour. The non-AC buses run every half an hour. So yeah, it's around 1:32 a.m. We have reached here in Mayapur. We we'll take some four, four and a half hours of sleep. The first ferry from here to Malabaskwa goes at 7 o'clock in the morning and we can reach there around like 30 minutes earlier and it should be fine. So we're up now and it's Malabaskwa day. We're just leaving for catching the 7 o'clock ferry. We're rushing towards it. So here is the ticket office to register the name by the ticket. The ticket is some 300 pesos from Mayapur to Malapasco. So there is an environmental fee here of 120 pesos per person and a ticket, the bus ticket of 200 pesos per person. So it's like 320 pesos to go from Dan Bantayan to Malapasco. So we finally left for Malapaskua on the ferry. It was supposed to leave at 7, it's 7.40 now that it's leaving. So if you're planning, just make sure that you keep this buffer in mind. It might take maybe half an hour, 45 minutes extra. Leave than what you had planned. And we've begun our approach to Malapasco Island. The boat has been rocking quite a bit, so all those gale warnings are starting to make sense now. Uh, you can't imagine if there was a 4-5 meter wave, but yeah, basically there he is. Going to our room, Abana Beach Resort now. So there are only bike taxis on this island because the roads are so small that we can see go through. And really cute small roads. This resort has like a direct access to the beach. This is the sort of market area in Malapascua where there are a couple of restaurants to eat. We just got to know that we can do dives in Gato Island. Super excited so we are rushing through breakfast because we will not have anything to eat during the day. So Danish here is having seaweed and meat and mm. vegetables and I am having dal chawal. Here we are at Gato Island and the uh, waters are great. Kamish, beautiful reef in front of us. Let's check out this huge hunk of rock. My god. Let's say it's just a pile of rock with like a K formation and whatnot. This is our dive team with our Dan, who is our dive master. And Vishali is going through the book. Let's see what Vrishali is reading. Hey, this book is really interesting. This marine crypto life book. So there are a lot of fish that you can ID from this. And their labels are amazing. So they have labeled the sizes of the fish. They have labeled the rarity of the fish, rare, uncommon, common, etc. They have labeled the behavior of the fish. Like there are some fish which are curious, indifferent, threatening, aggressive and also the dangerousness like 
is their bite dangerous are they irritate like if you touch them will you get irritation do they have spines grip electricity which ones have lethal and they are also labeled if a fish is edible if it is poison and if it is popular and, <laughs> and they have also mentioned the uses like there are a few fish which are useful for sport fishing there are a few fish for which fishing is disadvised so interestingly <laughs> this fish it is lethal it can bite you and it is curious the grey reef shark that we saw today <laughs> and the signs were curious are the very cute they have put a speck on the fish and the eyes and the ears are open <laughs> with an open mouth <laughs> very cute sign the chicken curry with rice looks delicious we have ordered mango again mm. some barbecue shrimp some barbecue corn some barbecue pork barbecue pork mm. um there is a nice uh, swedish sauce ah. swedish and tangy i think that's the a general barbecue sauce which they have but they used it to baste the meat also while it was cooking in the coals so it's gotten a little smoky and like that burnt soot flavor so it's really nice on our way to our day two dives hey, in Malapasco. And viewing thresher sharks was almost like an underwater theater experience. It is said that they are shy of uh, humans, scuba divers. So if you approach them, they will swim away from you. which is why all of us divers we were sort of hiding under the corals and just trying to spot them in the play arena that was in front of us it was a really interesting experience that way Finally finished all the dives here in Malapasco. Had a wonderful time watching grey reef sharks and some octopus. Some electric clam shells. Beautiful corals. cute little island like the roads are half a meter wide and only like one bike can go on the road in, in one direction nice beach in small town vibes so on our dive master's recommendation we've come to angelina which is close to the port where we have to take the ferry from and this is the super angelina the highlight there uh, coup de gras whatever you can call it 
best dish and we are gonna bite into it right now mm. the ham is so thinly sliced wow mm. bursting with flavor and the smokiness of the oven so this is called lechon bread uh, hopefully we'll see the real thing in Cebu soon so we're now waiting at the Malabaskua port ideally a ferry leaves from here every 30 minutes but the prerequisite is that you need at least 10 passengers for the ferry to leave and right now it's just the two of us who are leaving with the 4 pm ferry so the normal ferry cost is 320 pesos I think it must be the same coming going but uh, if you are in a hurry and if there are no passengers and the ferry is not going to leave at the expected time then you can also take a private boat for 2000 pesos so yeah we'll see